Welcome to Beyond the Game on the voice of Nassau Community College, 90.3 WHPC. I am Jake Volk, sitting across from me, Brandon Johnson, Dominic Arbolino, and Eric Fischetti. Guys, what's good? So How far, it's so it must good. be good since you got a Jets uh, shirt on I'm today. I'm a Jet shirt. Oh, yeah. Feeling good about that trade? Uh, you know what? We'll get into it a little later, but I didn't hate it. Okay. I didn't hate it. I haven't and seen you wear green in a long time. That's why I was just Yeah, that's the first time Because I've been very despondent with the Jets. I wear green oh, all the time. Yeah, yeah, no. I have, like three, I have uh, like three <laughs> Jet sweatshirts at home. Did you so. get the, really? the, the, what's, who was his, you know his name. Jamal Adams? Yeah, Jamal no, Adams. No, not Adams. yet. I was, okay. we, I was actually telling them before. So, because he's a rookie, mm-hmm. the NFL has to confirm his number first before they can oh, send gotcha, me the jersey. Gotcha, okay. So, I bought it. I don't know. I'm just waiting for it. Okay. And but it might I, be a while. But at least that's <laughs> good, so that way there's no mistake then. That's true. That's true. And Definitely. they've already processed your credit card, too, right? Yeah. They've already charged you for it. You oh, you know, that's it. absolute. Yeah, I love it. They have to do that. Yeah. I'm going to quote the great Ed Sullivan. We have a really big show tonight. <laughs> Today, Wait, I should are say. Are the Beatles coming on? <laughs> At 3.15, we'll have Dave Heller with us. He is the author of Ken Williams, A Slugger in Ruth's Shadow. Right after that, we'll be giving away some Long Island Ducks tickets. But without further ado, we got to get into basketball. Yeah, man. Game one of the NBA Finals took place yesterday. And the Warriors beat the Cavs by a score of 113 to 91. Yeah. Jeez. Who saw that coming? I, Warrior I ex- fans. I expected <laughs> a, a better game, but I knew what, you know, Golden State was going to, you know, bring to the table. Yeah. Especially Kevin Durant. This is the second time and the first time he lost oh, to LeBron. Kevin Durant. So I'm Kevin figuring off. that he feels like a sense of, you know, like urgency or like a responsibility for him to play good. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because it's uh you know it was heartbreaking they lost in five games against the Heat back in 2012, and you know he was 23. I mean not not a lot of people that are 23 can go to the finals at that age, but it's pretty scary that he was 23 and he was the best player on that team. Oh, and yeah. he averaged 30 points per game in the finals. He so was a beast. It wasn't he, his fault they lost. No, it's true. He's still it's true. They just went up against a better Miami. That's what team. it was. That's yeah. what it was. And now this year, both teams that you can say are equal, but you know when I was looking at the game last night, they played great defense. Honestly. They they forced the Cavs to over seventeen turnovers in yeah. the game, so it was, it they was, had smothering defense. Yeah, that was yeah. the killer last and, night. And you know, and they couldn't stop the fast break. Ke- no. Cleveland, they would just go out to the shooter. You got to let the guys live and die by three points. Stop the ball that's coming towards the bas- basket. Then you worry about you know three point shooting. You. But I mean, LeBron, he tried his best. He had twenty points in the first half. It wasn't the big three's it, fault that it, they it lost. Wasn't. It wasn't. It was everyone else's fault. I mean, Tristan no Thompson had no points. Oh, he was double teamed every time he got the ball down low. J.R. Smith had three points. Kyle Korver, no points. Yeah, Darren Williams, yeah. no points. Their fourth best player yesterday was Richard Jefferson. Yeah, the 37 year old. That's <laughs> he crazy. He should be applying for AARP benefits. <laughs> <laughs> It's pretty scary when Richard Jefferson is your fourth best player. You can't win no, like no, that. No, absolutely not. You can't win like that. And we mentioned this earlier. The guys like Jr. and them are going to have to play hard, but it just it just didn't show. They to didn't be. listen to us. What it's do you true. think the sports world is going to do? Like, say if this does happen, if the Warriors were to sweep the Cavs and they go sixteen and zero in the playoffs, I, I don't the think it's. Team I don't think. Yeah. Okay. I, I mean, gonna, that's all I, can I don't say. think that's going to happen. That's but like, what say. do you think? Like, that's going to be. Ooh. It's going to be pretty crazy. Mm. I wouldn't go as far as to say that they're the greatest team in sports history, but the argument but up can there. be made. I would, yes. I've never heard of them. I, the argument can be made. That's not as crazy as it sounds. Because they're the first team to go 12-0. Uh, and 0. I know to that. So me, To me, it would probably be, if I had to pick best sports team of all time, probably 72 Miami Dolphins. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I forgot about Only them. perfect yeah, season yeah, yeah. in true. NFL true. history. But it's a fair point. Would you consider the Dream Team the best team ever assembled then? I'm not counting Olympic teams. Yeah, no, we okay. can't count Olympic Okay, because I was, just, I was just thinking about that because we can't forget about them. Would love to know no, what you but... think. If you want to call, you can speak to us at 516-572-7440. That was an interesting question, Dominic. I had to think about that. That was good. Yeah. That was Thank good. Thank you. Yeah, definitely, man. <laughs> you know what? In all seriousness, you know what the league is going to do? They are going to blow up their structure. They have to change it. Because the Warriors go 16-0, and they can't have Durant resign. They're going to change things so rapidly to make it so the Warriors can't bring back Durant. And you know what? Adam Silver... Or Steph Curry, for that matter. He's a free oh, agent, yeah, too. Yeah, it's true. They're going to have to give him a lot of money. But Adam Silver, the own, their own commissioner of the NBA, you know, he said he, he likes the competition. I, I don't see what how. What competition? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He said he likes it. I don't know how. 
the NBA regular season could have been boiled down to 81 games between the Warriors and the Cavs. You didn't even need the extra game. Whoever whoever won that season series could have been declared the champion. We'd be at, we'd be out of here by April. Yeah, definitely, man. This is a joke. 28 other teams in the league. You've got some of the best basketball players in the world. It's useless. What's the point in playing? What's the point for guys like James Harden to compete? What's the point in guys like Russell Westbrook trying to compete? What's the point in guys like Mike Conley trying to compete? It's a joke. How is this good for the league? There are seriously people saying that this is great for the league because it's a great rivalry. It is a great rivalry. I'm not saying it's not. This is the Celtics-Lakers of our time, but this is horrible for the NBA. Yeah, it is. There's no way around that. I despise what the NBA has become. They need a hard salary cap. It's true. They need it's the only way to stop the super teams. Yeah. It's the only way to restore competitive balance. You feel I feel like he's too soft. I don't know Adam Silver. I mean, he was under the wing of David Stern, but still, I mean, I don't get it. I mean, take a look at take a look at a league like the NHL. Hard salary cap. No super teams. You can make the argument that Chicago Blackhawks were a super team. They never won consecutive championships. They never beasted. The Blackhawks lost to the Predators. Mm-hmm. Predators are looking like garbage this year. Even the Capitals this year. Well, they're in Stanley Cup, I should say. Even the Capitals this year were considered a super team. Capitals were considered a super yeah. team. They were asked in the second round. NFL, hard salary cap. No super teams to speak of. It's a joke. I hate it. I hate it. I think one thing uh, you actually brought up before is about how you know they have to they'll have to bring back Kevin Durant and Stephen Curry, uh, CJ McCollum of the Portland Trail excuse me Trail Blazers uh, tweeted out yesterday. He said um he said Clay is going to get his ring now, but then watch uh, in the off season he's going to be on he's going to be like with his new teammates or something. I just thought that was kind of interesting. Wow. Like, I hmm. saw that. Right? Can they, can they afford to, to lose Clay Thompson? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, you need they him. actually can. Because Klay Thompson's just a shooter. That's all he is. No, come Warriors on. have shooters. He's a great defender, too. Okay, okay. yes, yes, yes. He is a great defender. Yeah. Yes. He you're, definitely is right, a great right, player, right. but if you are if you want to lose one of those three, I think Thompson's the one you want to lose. You can win a title if Draymond Green is your third best player. You, you can. I mean, can it's been and, done. And, yeah. and you looked at the game yesterday. Thompson went, what, 3 for 15 or something like that? He was like horrible, that. He, and he the Warriors still won by 20. Still won. Warriors still won by 22. Klay Thompson, their third best player, looked horrible. It's a joke. I hate it. I hate what the league has become. I had to turn off the game in the second half. What happened was, it was halftime. I turned on an old American Dad episode. (laughs) By the time I turned the game back on, Warriors are up by 15. It's like, goodbye. I'm going to watch this second episode of American Dad that I have. Let's see what the score is. They're up by 20. Good night. I'm going to bed early. The the Warriors had a good rotation, too, going on. Like when Thompson would sit, Durant wouldn't. 12 players scored for the Warriors last night. The only player who didn't score that played was Patrick McCaw. Think about that okay, for a we, second. Yeah, that's true. Twelve players for the Warriors scored. That was great. And it's nothing it, it's nothing against the Warriors or the Cats. I don't hate them. I don't hate them by any stretch. Yeah. But the fact that these two teams are dominating the NBA, they can't even put on a good game one. This is this was supposed to set the tempo for the series, and it was a blowout. We all said there weren't going to be any blowouts. It was a blowout. Yeah, game one. It's true. It's over. It's I didn't even over. watch it. I didn't even put it on. I don't blame you. You want to know why? Why? <laughs> I was watching House of Cards. <laughs> <laughs> you like that show. I barely but, even saw it last night. <laughs> I don't blame you. I watched it. I mean, you didn't miss much. You I'm not too crazy half. about watching basketball games, game, so that's why I didn't really put it on. I mean, obviously I'd watch the finals because, mm. you know, it's the finals. Everyone's going to be watching that. But I saw, like, a lot of the stuff through highlights and stuff. And yeah, so re- did I. And yeah. read right up. Yeah, so did I. And in the first half, I didn't even get to see. Like, the, the only quarter that I got to see was the fourth. And honestly, I, it, it, it was boring. You were watching the fourth quarter? Yeah, yeah you because, just you know, out because it was on. It was the only thing on. There was nothing to do, so I was watching it. I, I went to sleep. That's what I, I did. I couldn't go to sleep. Uh, early I was night working. for you, huh? Yep, yeah, early night. I couldn't go to sleep. I was working. But apparently in the first half, they were trading points back and forth. Yes. Yeah, it was true. And it, it was, was a very good. good first it half. was a very good really first was. half. And then the third quarter, just it, it, it was a runaway. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. But like Jacob mentioned, when you have guys like Deron Williams, Kyle Culver, J.R. Smith, and those guys not scoring points, I mean, how do you expect to keep up with the Warriors? You know they're streaky shooters. I mean, yep. you need that out of your team. You know, that's why they assembled, you know, this so-called great Cavaliers team. But you, you can see the competition from the East compared to the Warriors now. They're not doing those blowouts and being up by 40 points at the half. You know what? <laughs> you know what? Honestly, I really feel like the Cavs are going to come back with a vengeance in Game 2. I, think I, the Cavs I would hope win. so. I think they because would the have Warriors, to. The Warriors embarrassed the Cavs yesterday. They did. They embarrassed them. LeBron doesn't like that. LeBron doesn't like to be embarrassed. No, he doesn't. He's going to go off. 
Kyrie is going to go off. I'm, I'm predicting the Cavs to win game two. That's Let's my hope. bold prediction. Yeah, that's I, get two I days feel like off. I'm with you on that. Okay. Good. <laughs> hey, no sweep. No sweep. No, right? I can't see it. <laughs> Another blowout. Just kidding. <laughs> hope not. I Honestly, I kind of hope that the Cavs don't blow out the Warriors in game two. I hope it's like a five-game swing, a, a five-point uh, swing. I'll say they win by about ten points. How about that? About ten Let's points. Let's just see competition. Yes. You know, that's the most important Thank Yes. So let's talk about our local teams. We've talked about the super teams enough. Let's talk about our local teams. According to Sean Devaney of the Sporting News, the Nets and the Knicks have inquired about the possibility of acquiring at least one of the Trailblazers' three first-round picks in this year's draft. Portland's looking to unload some combination of the 15th, 20th, and 26th pick because they need to get rid of some salary. Do you think that either New York team will be able to swing a trade with Portland where they get a first-round pick along with a bad contract? Honestly, I feel like the only new, well, not the only one, but the one that could possibly give up an asset is the Knicks. Because the, the biggest asset that I could think, and well, and the Nets too, but I feel like they would get at least two first round picks for Brooke Lopez. But that's no if. No chance. I, but, but, but like that, that's if they even want Brooke Lopez. There's no chance Nets get two first round picks for Brooke Lopez. Boogie only got one, and Boogie's a better player. That's true. Nets would be lucky to get one first round pick. They should have traded Lopez when they had the chance. That's Sorry. true. Sorry. I, no, 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 no. That's <laughs> true. Oh, man, I hate it. No, no, but there's a reason true. why this is my fourth favorite sport, basketball. <laughs> oh yeah. man! But I feel like for the Knicks, names to watch out for that are possibly leaving are Courtney Lee and Kylo Quinn. A Courtney, the thing is, Kylo Quinn would go in that type of a trade. Courtney Lee wouldn't. Too expensive. Portland can't afford Definitely. it. You think so? I understand. Portland's too, yeah. Portland can't afford it. If the season, st- if we were to count next season salary right now, <laughs> Portland has the highest payroll in the league. One hundred thirty-seven really? million. I didn't even notice that. Oh, because they gave Damian Lillard. Yeah, Lillard, CJ McCollum, yeah, Mo Harkless, Evan Turner, Alan Crabb too. Alan Crabb yeah, too. Yeah, that's yeah, what I was just thinking. Yeah, <laughs> I'm glad he's not. But I feel like the the Knicks are still um, heavy on the cap because I mean you still got Joakim Noah do you have to still pay which I thought oh. was a bad contract. He's robbing the and Knicks. No one's no one's Again, giving up trade picks for him. An- They're losing twenty million contract. dollars though with Derrick Rose, so that helps. That that's a good part about that. That helps. Yeah. So. You know what? Let's go to baseball here on Beyond the Game on the voice of Nassau Community College, 90.3 WHPC. I'm Jacob Volk. Sitting across from me, Brandon Johnson, Dominic Arbolino, and Eric Fischetti. Number to call if you have something on your mind is 516-572-7440. I'm starting a new semi-regular segment on this show. Every New York sports show talks about New York baseball, but this is how we're going to be different from them. A website that I frequent is rosterresource.com, and one of their features is their power ranking of players. For hitters, they do it based on the last seven days, and for pitchers, they do it based on the last 14 days. So, I listed the three best Yankees and Mets separately, according to rosterresource.com's power ranking of them. I'll go down those lists, and then we'll spin that off into talking about the rest of New York baseball. Sound good, guys? Yeah. Sure. Sound great. All right, and we'll call that segment. Drum roll, please. <laughs> New York Notables. That is wow. a goblin that was, chicken. No, that's a beaver. The official state mammal <laughs> of beaver. New York. Wow. wow. The oh, beaver really? is the state mammal of New York. Can we take a moment to appreciate that? Learn something new every day. Okay. I did not know that. And that was the official song of New York. I love New York. It should be New York, New York by Frank Sinatra. Yeah, that's what I would think. Yeah. I feel like that would have been a given, though. So, without further ado, the Notables for the Yankees are Dellen Batances. Luis Severino, and Aaron Judge. Raldis Chapman's been hurt. Dylan Batances becomes the closer. He's been doing absolutely amazing. Did horrible last year when he was the closer. But man, has he turned it on this year. Luis Severino, absolute steal for my fantasy team. <laughs> Picked him in the last round of my fantasy baseball draft. Wow. And Fell Aaron Judge. Far. What Aaron can, Judge. What can you say about Aaron Judge that hasn't been said already? It, it doesn't. It doesn't matter what fan you are. If you live in New York, you gotta like this guy. Yeah, yeah. he's a this guy player, is, man. People's I person. Know, they, I, they I would like to see him in the choice. home run derby. I would too. I, home, he I a, hope he right in batting practice today. He uh, hit five hundred and ten feet. Like he's in amazing. the upper deck in Toronto. Yes, don't forget that. There's you saw a the same video. Yankee yeah. Stadium that's named after him. For goodness sake. Yeah, they did. Really they build like it for that. him. I really like that. Yeah, they I built it for him. Right. Yeah, that's so cool. All right. The judges' chambers. We do have a caller on the line. Caller, you were on Beyond the Game. 
Uh, I'd like to know, when are we going to bring a champion back to, to New York, right? This what, is getting ridiculous. What sport? You know what what sport? I was going to say. This, but, you know what I'm saying? This is ridiculous. Yeah.